welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zoe Lee Sin. Got a donation deck to play this one and some people on YouTube have been asking to see some Zoe Lee Sin. So I wanted to bring that here. Um, this one's very similar to the Lee Sin Z deck. If you are familiar with that one from last format that was uh, very popular at one point and ended up getting Lee Sin nerfed just a little bit. Um, buffed up to 5 health, but moved to 5 cost instead of 4. But Lee Sin is still a very powerful card, wanting us to cast the 8 plus spells. Now we're pairing Lee Sin with Zoe instead of Zed. Zoe does a good job of creating more spells. You get the super cool star chart, so you get another burst spell to create to be able to help out your um, Lee Sin. Plus, it, it's absolutely incredible if you can level up your... Um, Zoe, that's it's always just really good with that, getting your Behold the Infinite to cost zero. It's a, it's a very powerful champion, and it only costs one man instead of your Zed costing three. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I like them both, but I, I think that, that Zoe's very good, and I think that Zoe works in this deck really well. So it'll be interesting to see how we how this this deck plays out. Playing against it, um, I haven't always been the, the most impressed with this deck. It does, you know, just like any Lee Sin deck, um, it's going to rely a lot on Lee Sin, and you're going to have some games where Lee Sin is just amazing and just, you know, destroys your opponent. You give it Overwhelm with the Zenith Blade and kill your opponent very quickly with um, a big Dragon's Rage. But there's going to be other games where you're just going to be spinning your wheels, and you're not going to be able to, like, if you don't draw Lee Sin, if you can't find Lee Sin, maybe you can't find Zoe. Um, just, you know, how do you win with, like, the rest of the stuff if you can't find those? That's going to be the difficult part about this kind of deck. All right, but we're going to go play our five games in ranked, and let's test out the newest champion, Zoe, with Lee Sin. Fiora Shen. I put a little blanket on Puppy's bed, and she, she really likes her new blanket on her bed there. Nopify only stops their Nopify and single combat. I think I mulligan that Nopify then. All right, we'll have a go. And I'm gonna go with the goat over the eye of the dragon. Hey, Wonder Mellow with the raid. Welcome, raiders. We're playing, of course, some Legends of Runeterra. Like always, we got some fun decks today. Didn't do so great with Riven Victor. Our deck looked just fine. It was a, you know, it was, it was a pretty good deck. It looked just fine, but our opponents kind of had the cards that they needed to defeat us, and that happens. So it lost those ones. The Wonder Raid. The water changes, but never breaks. Uh, we'll go with the Eye of the Dragon. Um, we're now trying out some Zoe Lee Sin. And then up next, we'll be playing some Snapvine Plaza. So we'll be playing some Overgrown Snapvine in a Plaza deck. I think I'm just going to pass. I could play Sparkle Fly, I guess. I think I'm just going to pass, though. Okay, Dr Jinx Draven. Yeah, Jinx Draven's pretty awesome. Okay, so they went to the next turn. We're gonna go Lee Sin. Eye of the Not Tiger. Thank you, really powerful wizard. Thanks for gifting out a sub. Yeah, Jinx Draven aggro is quite strong. All right, so they are just attacking. I guess I let them draw a spell. Yeah, I guess I just have to. I just don't have a good. I don't have a good option of like. Yeah, I just don't, I don't have a good option against their sharp sights and single combats and all their cards that are um, potential cards that they could play. My lands need center your spear. Yeah, Nick. Nick's a great streamer, and Nick. Nick definitely knows his decks, knows what he's doing. Wouldn't be surprised to see 
like a, a fight spell here. Yeah, so they're gonna try to fight there. I think this is probably a good use of Nopify, but I could also let them have their their thing die. So let's see, let's see if I if I just hush the Shen, then we just take out all their stuff. A gift from the river folk. <sighs> and that's probably worth it. All right, we're going to be meditating. Deep meditation. Breathe, in, breathe out. Wow, that's that's actually a good at guiding touch. That was a card that I wasn't sure about this deck. I don't know if I love guiding touch, but Conflict is all in the mind. It's going to work out pretty great here. Really don't need that thing to win. Wanted to play that so that I played a second spell. Yeah, I do like that we can just kind of sit back on meditation. We don't have to use them all right away. Where are we at? We're at 7 out of 8. Should probably level up Lee Sin. That Spell Thief is really cool. Not only has an awesome animation, but it's also just a really good card. It's just really cool. What is their plan? Like, how do I lose? They just use two cards just to keep their Screeching Dragon alive. Which, that's fine with me. Use two valuable cards. Maybe need to just get one of these units out of my hand, even though they could just challenge and kill it with the Screeching Dragon, but I just need to get it out of my hand. So, see you later, Sparklefly. Don't get eaten by a dragon. I walk the space between worlds. I'm not really sure how necessary Concussive Palm is. So they have Shen give the Screeching Dragon Barrier and Challenge. That's all pro probably just fine. And then I Concussive Palm this thing. I may maybe should have just thrown the Sparkle Fly in, in front of Shen. We'll see. Okay, so they deny that. So they deny that, so I'm going to Deep Meditation, draw my two. Guiding Touch over here. Give the Shen Barrier. <laughs> Patience is underrated. That's a good line. You have double, uh, double overwhelm. Conflict is all in the mind. Yeah, so I'll just eat the bastion. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a deny over the third Nopify, that's for sure. And you 
use sharp sight. Center your spirit. That keeps their Shen alive, but their Shen will still be bound. It'll still be, you know, like Will of Ionia back to their hand with the Dragon's Rage. And they still take lethal. Ionia endure. Okay, we got a Zoe Mirror. They're going with Fiora with a bunch of protection for their Fiora. We're going with Lee Sin with a bunch of protection protection for our Lee Sin. Um, what are we denying in this matchup? I don't think that we're really nullifying denying stuff, are we? Like Targon is all Yeah, Targon's like all burst speed. Um, single combat, I guess. You know, it's like single combat concerted strike, but I don't I don't know if they're playing concerted strike. Yeah, maybe a rally. I'll go ahead and mulligan those two. I'm keeping the guiding touch with it cycling, but maybe that should just be a mulligan on the guiding touch also. But it's like a spell that cycles that helps turn on the deep meditation. Stop. All right, we got the goat. I could play another goat. If I play another goat, they play Fiora. And then they play whatever spell to keep their Fiora alive. Maybe I just strike them once. Let's. All right, they got a big sparkle fly. Big sparkle fly. Take it for now. Concussive palm, like you know, that thing's probably just going to continue to get even larger, as far as concussive palm is concerned. But I don't really have a good other play. Need to find Hush. Beware the dragon spirit. Problem is they are also a Hush deck. That did take up like all their mana, so we don't have to worry about them hushing my Lee Sin. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. If super cool star chart finds Equinox, and I cast Equinox, that only gets rid of the spell shield. I think I'm going to take another hit for eight and stun this Fiora. I bear a message from... Oh, hey, what's that? Let's do it over there. Man, I really hope they don't have Pale Cascade. I'll take Hush, like that'd be fine. Pill Cascade's just that that'd be the worst case scenario. Just Hush. Sharp sight, same same thing, that's also worst case scenario. Hmm. Okay, Lisa, you're at five.
Let's go Serpent, challenge the Zoe. Are they a judgment deck? Maybe I don't just throw those out there. Your move. So I need to I need to draw hush. Wait, no, because they have the spell shield still on this thing. Never got rid of that spell shield. Should have grabbed that equinox, I guess. Choose the right time to strike. I guess they got me. Shouldn't have blocked with my Zoe. I blocked into that sharp sights. Yeah, I mean I guess they got me, GG's. Nope Nova Fine and I just don't do anything. Everything is burst speed. I just don't do anything. They only printed burst speed spells in Targon. Alright, so I needed to need to stun the Sparkle Fly and get rid of the spell shield, and then I would have drawn the Equinox. Must be nice to draw Bastion. Oh right, that wasn't even eleven to begin with. They had to have another repose, which they had. I'm just sitting here with three nobifies and denies that <laughs> can't do anything. I'll start this prediction. So yeah, whenever you're playing, it's 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 all about learning, and and um, now I know definitely just concussive palm, get rid of that spell shield. Oh hush, now you're here. A little little late there, buddy. That'd be really nice to have you after those standalones. All right, let's get rid of the spell thief. Don't think we really need spell thief or bastion. I don't know. May just mulligan all of it. It's like, I have the dragon good here. Meh. Wasn't a whole lot I could do about the Zoe besides not blocking. I tried saving the Zoe with the stun on the Fiora. If I, if I use the stun... Otherwise, they would have definitely killed uh, the Zoe. Mystical levitation requires concentration. For the <laughs> there you go, Emthor. Not gonna do any predictions. You can just le legitimately cheer. The few the the non-Demacia deck that I consider myself the most experienced with would, would probably be the mid-range Frostbite. Both of that deck and. Um, Tarek Draven are two decks I feel very experienced with. Um, and then also Poros. We played tons of Poros. <laughs> that was a good draw. Take yep, Oscillate, this is what I do full time. They have two mana left. I could go double Pale Cascade on the Mentor of the Stones to turn it into five power. They'd have two mana left, so they have, you know, like a Troll Chant or anything like that. Wouldn't it be great for me? I think that's probably worth it. It's either that or I just or I just simply attack with the Zoe, save my mana, save these Pale Cascades. And maybe that's the better thing to do. Come here, darling. 
Wow. Not blocking with Braum. Nope. All right, let's do this. Man, and they had transfusion to protect Braum, and they still didn't block with Braum. Wow, that's crazy, yo. That's crazy. Yeah, Mentor would still be alive, but they would get towards leveling up the Braum and get the 3 3. It is easy, see? For sure. Super cool star chart. You're going to be my draw step instead of deny. Super cool star chart. I've dressed for the occasion in red. So another top down. I was hoping they'd be a little bit more scared. This right now is me taking 14 damage. The Vladimir levels up. I was hoping they'd be a little bit more scared than just attack with everything. Be super easy to level up this Lee Sin. Oh boy, let me tell you about how good these Nopifies have been. Force is meaningless without skill. I mean, I have to get I have to get rid of Vladimir. That's the card that matters. I don't I don't know if Braum really matters. They're also simply passing. Could pass back. I probably gotta do some kind of challenge. Patience is unbreakable. So Gem Overwhelm only makes this thing 5 power. Doesn't get rid of Vladimir. But it would be able to kill Braum, or at least start to get rid of Braum. They're not going to let me do anything, are they? They're just getting rid of my time. I can't do anything with these. Or I guess... Okay, I guess I did cast a spell, so I'll get the priority back again. But yeah, they just got rid of my time. Because the, the time just goes away during the animation. So I couldn't do anything. But... At least we got the time back. Prepare yourself. Pretty good, pretty good. I know this doesn't kill Vladimir where I could kill Braum, but this does make them spend five mana on replaying Vladimir instead of like I imagine if I like go after Braum, they would like use like a troll chant or something, they would say save it and you know maybe or just let it happen and then just play other you know, just play like two or three other threats for six mana and then go wide and like Vladimir attack going wide. And that's that's a big problem. So I, I need to make them I need to force them to spend their mana on Vladimir to replay it. And then whenever they replay it, like, they're probably going to play something else before. We'll yeah, so, like, they'll probably play Vladimir before attacking, and I can hush the Vladimir. So they played Transfusion has been their only card so far. Oh, I, you, oh, y'all are saying, oh, I should have gone with the star chart and, and looked for the stun two cards. Yeah, I guess I probably should have done that first. Okay, would not have had it. It's in the portal! I call this constellation the... Jump rope! 
All right, jump rope. Let's play some defense. I mean, Lee Sin's a pretty strong card. I mean, if they don't if they don't kill me, they're dead. Let's see. I'm just dead anyway. Conflict is all in the mind. All right, no transfusion, please. Hey, Dark Dragoon. Good afternoon. Darn. One life. That's what I needed was just one life. Um, if we would have had the the stun, the double stun card on the, on that other one, I still would have taken that. You know, even after the hush with the Vladimir, and I would have just done the two overwhelm units. For that big cheers, thank you so much. Okay, back to this matchup. Hopefully, we don't draw triple Nopify again for the third game in a row. So the reason why, like, Nopify looks really bad, right? Like, it's it's been completely useless. And we've drawn three of them the last two games. And so it's just, like, we might as well be drawing, like, you know, like an Ace of Spades and, like, a Bo Jackson rookie card. And, you know, like, uh, I don't know, a 10% off Subway coupon. Like, right? Like, it's just three cards that have no text whatsoever in the game Legends of Runeterra. That's what they have been, and we've drawn three of them in the last three games. Now, the reason why we're playing them, though, is because of not only Go Hard, which obviously they are very good against Go Hard, but they are also very good against um, against the the Lucian Plaza deck with the plaza deck playing the different spells that make the ephemerals and that's a that's a difficult matchup for us and so the nopify is important there the problem with playing i want to play the goat but the problem with playing the goat is then they could play um the one two elusive that would then block zoe i don't i that's why i was kind of debating in my head is it worth like we get automatic star chart here i guess i should have played it that's what I was debating about. Like, do we play the goat and try to get a gem as well, or if they if they do play the one two, I'd still get the gem. The sparkle fly. I fight with my spirits, not my fists. We do triple draw everything. Mystical levitation requires concentration. Got a lot of slow speed stun effects. Me something cool. We each hold a world within. I don't really need draglings on this turn, I don't think. Ready yourself. That's two spells, so we'll get the two draglings. Breathe in, breathe out. Stun an enemy. Paddle Star. It 
So not gonna really get the gems. Don't really have room in hand for gems. Yeah, they just have room for one. If they pass to me, okay, they're giving that thing tough. So it's basically when you know when am I going to hush their thing? Paddle Star is not going to kill it with the tough. They have the gems. I know I can I can hush then Paddle Star. I don't think that's probably as effective as hush then block. So I think I just waste this Paddle Star. I mean, I can't cast gems during combat. They went straight to combat. I could I could have cast gem. It would have been nice too. But not allowed. Not allowed. What is gained when you return malevolence? Oh, Nopify. It'd be nice if he did something. Three out of ten. Yeah, if they end up having single combat, we'll stop that. We haven't seen single combat from this deck yet. That could be something we could stop. Okay. Yeah, they just have all like just things to buff that thing up. Can't stop the stun, no bastion. All right, what do we got? We got some scouts with Garen. That probably means Grand Plaza. And I'm not even sold that Garen is better with the Grand Plaza than what Quinn is, with Quinn making the two bodies, both getting the plus one, plus one at Challenger. Really powerful wizard gifting out a sub to Cabo. Cabo getting the sub. Thank you, wizard. All right, so our... Uh, hand could be... Oh, we don't have the attack to open turn three, so this is kind of a weak hand. Maybe I just don't worry about these. You know, so it's basically do we have enough time to make a big lifesteal sparkle fly with the help of Mentor of the Stones? I don't know, maybe. All right, let's go with the goat. Awesome, got a gem. Very good. They play the landmark, I pass. So I'm not gonna allow them to play 3-2 scout and kill my Mentor of the Stones with that. Okay, they didn't have the 3-2 scout. Do I play mentor right now? Gems are superb. Uh, bad for the team. Fortune favors the boat. Nope. Let's try to hit him for seven. Every wave is a 
is just ridiculously strong. Harvey's down here wanting some belly rubs. I definitely think they can get, they can just go away with the plus one plus one. Or not have it be summoned things. One of those two. This is going to fill my hand with gems. Um, in fact, it'll give me too many gems because we're going to get four gems here, but I only have space for three cards. Oh, you can't go to five. Oh, that was bad by me. I should have just passed and let it die. Well, my plan was to keep that alive. That plan, I forgot I couldn't go to five. That plan didn't work. I had a plan. Master yourself. Master it didn't work. Draven, Teemo, Aggro, Burn. I like Jinx more than Teemo in that aggro burn deck. Prepare yourself. Yeah, I'd recommend I'd recommend playing Jinx over Teemo, but besides that it is it is a strong deck. Like I think that the the aggro decks are um, they're they're really good decks to play and really good rank up decks to play because you can play uh, games real fast, win or lose. You get to play a lot more games total. Yep, you win. Thank you, Jess. Thanks for that tier one sub. Resubbing second month in a row now. Excited to see some Snapvine Plaza. That's the deck that we're just about to play. As this was our last game with this one. Yep. Okay. So I didn't pilot that game the best. Um, didn't look like they even they had the uh, blight um, the blinding assault um, getting valor with the two spell mana so I guess so I really need to play Metro the Stones on turn three that hurt me and then of course that that play with them attacking with the misfortune hurt me and then that was a perfect blighted uh, blight steel protector to keep their misfortune alive so that was perfect there and then you know pair it with a concerted strike so. Um, Basically, every decision I made ended up really backfiring after, you know, turn three on. And the opponent had the perfect cards to make that happen. Alright, so yeah, Nopify was just a waste of space. So maybe this shouldn't be a three of. It's so good in those matchups that are difficult, but it looked like a, a waste of space. It didn't look like we really need more denies either, right? Like we're not playing against any Shadow Isles decks. With everybody else playing Targon decks, honestly, it looked like the the card that looked like the best that like I wanted all the time that looked great was Hush. Right? Like wasn't Hush just amazing against everybody? That's what it really looked like. So I yeah, I think I just kind of would want to change like a Nopify for a Hush. But you know, once we do that, then we're gonna start playing against like Go Hard that you don't really need Hush against. Um, you know, once, once you change that up, yeah, could play a second concussive palm. Concussive palm looked pretty decent. I, I don't, I just don't love concussive palm. I and mean, we saw how it makes like the three twos. I, I wouldn't mind playing a will of Ionia 
honestly. I, I'd, I'd kind of rather have Will of Ionia than Concussive Palm. Yeah, you know, like, they use, like, their Concerted Strike or whatever. Like, I don't know. I just, I think that returning things back to their hand is really powerful. Um, yeah, could, could put an additional uh, Spell Thief also. That, that could be, I, I really like Spell Thief, and it looked pretty good. Especially when you're playing against other Targon decks. Um, or spell heavy deck. Spell Thief was good. Yeah, Plaza. I mean, I guess Palm kind of deals with Plaza. I guess, right? Like that. So okay, I think I think I'd probably go with the second Concussive Palm. I think that's what we do over over this third Nopify. I think that's what I'd recommend. Final answer. But those are the other cards to talk about. Like maybe a Hush, maybe a Spell Thief. Um, yeah, it's it's just. That's the difficult part when you're playing these reactive decks is just like, you know, what are you, you going to play against? You know, depending on what, you, what you're going to play against, you're going to want different cards. And so getting that right balance is always difficult. Um, but for how those games played out, Concussive Palm was also very good in like all those games. And so, yeah, let's let's play a sec. Let's let's do that. Let's take out the third Nopify, play a second Concussive Palm. All right. But that's it here for Zoe Lee Sin. It was OK. That's Again, I'm not, I don't, I don't know about this deck. It's, it's okay. It's not, it's not bad, but I don't think this is going to be like a, a dominant tier one deck or anything like that. Like, I, I don't really expect that from uh, Zoe Leeson, to be honest, because it's, it's, it's not too difficult to disrupt. Um, it's, it's also inconsistent for like, you know, like, is your opponent too aggressive for you or are they going to find, um, you know, like, are you going to draw your Zoe Leeson or not? Like that kind of stuff. This is a kind of deck that you can get crushed and lose, you know, where your deck doesn't do anything, it doesn't look very good, or you, ha you know, like you uh, have some good interaction, you play Lee Sin, your opponent can't deal with Lee Sin, and Lee Sin just destroys them, and so your deck looks incredible, and it looks like one of the best decks ever with Lee Sin doing its, doing its thing. There's not too much in the middle with this deck. It looks either bad or great, depending on game for game. All right, that's Zoe Leeson, though. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think. Um, you know, like, let me know what you think of the, of the list, if there's anything you would change if you've been playing this yourself um, or anything else. You know, like that, uh, the last thing that I was kind of saying about the deck, uh, if there's anything like that that uh, you want to comment on, love to hear it. Also, let me know what you want to see. Um, what else do you want to see on the channel? I would appreciate that. All right, but that's all I got here. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.